Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm an Airtable and Zapier consultant. In this video, we're going to be doing a deep dive on filtering your views using ands alongside ors. So in an and statement, you get to say uh, thing A is true and thing B. And in a, an or statement, you would say thing A or thing B. But it's very difficult in Airtable to use these two things together. There is a great workaround though if you know your way around some if formulas and that's what we're going to be going into detail in this video. All right, so in this example, we are going to be looking into ands with ors on the filters. So for this, we're going to have three different just simple fields. We're going to imagine that we have a bit of a form that we've had some people fill out and they've chosen from a couple of options. So let's jump on in. All right, so we've got a favorite place field here and you see the two options are amusement park or zoo. And then we're also asking people for their favorite body of water and they're responding lake, ocean, river, or pond. And then we've got a mountain or a beach question. And so we've just kind of filtered this out randomly, just randomly filled it out with information. So uh, the big question is what happens if you wanna filter this view so that you're seeing specific things? So let's say, really easy example, we wanna filter this just to look at amusement park. That's easy enough. We add a filter by clicking filter, and then we say where, and then we have to set our condition. So where, favorite place, is what? We just selected amusement park. All right, so where, favorite place is amusement park. We click that and we see that we've already filtered out. We had 11 records and now we're down to seeing six. Awesome, that's easy enough. We could also just change this to zoo and we see the other five records. Pretty awesome. Okay, now additionally, let's go back to that amusement park. We can add another filter. So we can say, and we wanna know where the favorite body of water is, and then we have all these different options. Is, is not, is any, is none. So let's say we want to do an is any. Is any means we can choose from, uh, a, we can choose a few options or several options from a list. So the different options are lake, ocean, river, pond. But in this case, maybe we say we wanna see amusement park where favorite body of water is lake or river. So now if the favorite body is favorite body of water is lake or river, it's going to show up and the amusement park has to be the favorite place. So let's take a look at that. So now we've got lake and rivers only showing here and amusement parks showing here. Now that's an and statement. So the other option of course is an or statement. What if we change that to or? In that case, we're saying show us everything that is lake or either lake or river in body of water, or the favorite place is amusement park, right? So we've got this record here where the favorite body of water is ocean, but because amusement park is the favorite place, it shows up here. So that's how the or statement works, right? So let's go back to that and, and here's where things get a little complicated. Let's say we wanted to add a third filter. If we add a third filter, we can do that. We can actually add as many filters as we want. But when we get to that third filter, you'll see we can't change this to or. In fact, every filter we add after this is going to automatically be an and filter because we've already started with ands. If we change this to or, they're all gonna become or filters. And so this is where things get a little, get a little tough because we can't just write a filter that says where amusement park uh, is the favorite place and the favorite body of water is lake or river, and then we can't add an or statement on after that because we've already used that and. So let's say we wanted to use uh, an or statement. The easiest way to do this then in Airtable is to instead build a formula field that is returning a certain value that you can then filter on. So let me show you what I mean. Let's build what I like to call a filtering formula. So let's suppose we wanted to return those records where favorite body of water is either lake or river or, or the favorite, um, or, or they prefer the beach over the mountains. So let's start with that first part. Let's just look at lake or river. We would write a statement that says something like this. If X, this is, if you're new to formulas, when we start writing an if statement, it shows us here that the first uh, part is our logical value or our, lo our logical query. 
And then after that, we're going to say, if that's true, we return value one. And if it's false, we return value two. So if X, and I'll come back to X, if X, then we're going to return true. And if not, then we'll return false. This is part one. Now, what is X? We're going to write an or statement, actually. If the favorite body of water is equal to lake, or favorite body of water is equal to river. All right, so we have an or statement inside an if statement. So the or statement is saying, if either one of those things is true, favorite body of water equals lake, comma, or favorite body of water equals river. So if either one of those is true, then the if statement will return true. And if it's not, then we'll return false. Let's take a look and see if we got this part right. I always like to test my if statements piece by piece because they can get complicated if you just try to write them all at once. So we're looking here at lake or river. We've got a true for lake. We have a false for ocean. We have a true for river. We have a true for lake. Looks like it's working out great. So we got that part right. But now, instead of returning false in this case, if it says beach, we want to return true as well. So what we're going to do is go back into here and we're going to rewrite this false part. We're going to do what's called a nested if statement. So now we're going to do an if inside an if. So then we're going to say if mountain or beach equals beach, then we'll return true. And if not, whoops, if not, then false. So a nested if statement. So first we're going to do that first piece of logic. So is the favorite body of water lake or river? If so, true, and then we're done. And if, we're, if that's not true, then it's going to go on to the next part, which is, well, then, is mountain or beach equal to beach? And if so, true. If not, false. So let's see if we got this right. I think I need to include one more parenthesis. And there we go. So we have a true for lake. We have a true, not for ocean, but for beach. We have a true for river. We have a true for lake. We have a false here because we don't have lake or river, and we don't have beach. So we're working out great. So here we have now done essentially an, an or statement to say if favorite body of water is lake or river, or if mountain or beach is equal to beach. So all of those that are returning true are now filtered on that. So now that we've got that, now we can incorporate that filtering formula with an and statement. And we do it like this, going right back to that filter and saying where filtering formula is true and where favorite place is amusement park. And that's it. Now, filtering formula is probably not one of those fields that you want to constantly see when you're looking at your records. So of course you could go in and hide that once you've got it working correctly. And now when people take this survey, they're just gonna answer those questions and you're going to have this particular view already built with both an and including or alongside an or statement all at the same time. Okay, as always, I hope you found that to be very valuable. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Airtable content, be sure to click subscribe. Also, if you have any custom work that you'd like to talk to us about, do check the description below where I've included a link to my Calendly so that you could sign up for a free consultation. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.